Greetings Trailblazers and welcome to Hongkai Star Rail So, we are still back in business eh? Speak with Ming Shi Alright then <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. Right on time. Xiao Han is about to share his strategy for the upcoming hearing. The president likes to quote past experiences and data. We can do that too. The president and Madam Yu Kong are here. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. Before we start, uh, let's review the documents we have. Turnover of Aurum Alley Merchant Guild. This is the most direct achievement of our revival project. More importantly, it's evidence that the alley has regained its footing. The money will serve as the bidding deposit for Aurum Alley. Mm hmm. Sales analysis of Artistry Hardware. Since Artistry Hardware partnered with the dock, its scope of operations has expanded, and its revenue and customer satisfaction have both increased. As a result, we're seeing an uptick in customers visiting the shop, contrary to the President's assumptions. The historical trading volume of the early? The data suggests that the success of the old Aram Alley was largely due to the economic circumstances of the past. At its peak, the old Aram Alley had a trading volume similar to what the Alley has today. Okay, I've looked over everything. The hearing is about to begin. I will be hosting this hearing on behalf of the Skyfaring Commission. Ming Shi, are your people all present? We're all here, but where's the president? I'm right here. You're the president? That is correct. I know my appearance is a little unsettling. If the hearing weren't of vital importance to the future of Aramali, I wouldn't attend in person. Still, I didn't expect a reaction like this. Are you so afraid to converse with a piece of metal? A talking aromaton head. So cool. Hmm. Glad you think so. Let me remind everyone that we are at a hearing. Mr. President, please share with us your vision for Aram Ali. I can tell that the opposing side is eager to see Aramali thrive. Your passion resonates with me. Since we share the same passion, where is it that we disagree? The prosperity under your proposal means diminishing the Ali's tradition and personality. We can afford neither. I can tell that the opposing the IPC plans to turn the alley into a logistics hub. You are practically thinking the same. Our proposal is different from the IPC's. Th that's right! The IPC will close down Artistry Hardware if they take over. We would never do that. We protect businesses. The IPC sacrifices them for their own gain. Protect? Sacrifice? I find that humans rarely understand these concepts correctly. The outcome is what truly matters. Once the alley is turned into a logistics hub, shops like Artistry Hardware will be able to sustain themselves, regardless of what the IPC does. He is convinced that the IPC and us are the same. The IPC, the reality is, 
Overdevelopment can only adversely impact customer experience, making the alley less appealing. Hmm. Do you have data to support your statements? Historical data has proved my point. It is the reality, not rhetoric, that matters. Oh, it's golden, so... I sense a hole in his logic. Yep. Same. Probably. The reality is, overdevelopment can only adversely impact customer experience, making mm. the alley less appealing. Do you have data to support- Historical data has proved my point. I sense a whole- The reality mm. is, overdevelopment can only adversely impact custom- Take a look at this. Oh no, it's wrong. What am I looking at? Please don't waste our time. The reality is, overdevelopment can only adversely the, impact the, customer experience, making the alley less appealing. Less appealing. Is it this one? Take a look at this. Oh, no, it's what am I looking at? The reality is, is it this one? overdevelopment on. can. There are actually more customers coming to the alley. This record reflects the change in Artistry Hardware's turnover and the increase in customers since it partnered with the dock. The shop does better than it used to. Impossible. You must be bluffing. You know Ming Shi better than I do. Would she deceive you with fake data? The sample size is too small. I'm not convinced. If I were you, Mr. President, I would think of ways to translate the success of that one sample into something that can benefit everyone. A guild that doesn't proactively help businesses has no reason to exist. <sighs> You have not witnessed what I have seen, and so you fail to understand my insistence. You can't just rely on your age and experience. There are many things that only time can tell, young one. You have not witnessed what I have The old Aramali achieved a commercial miracle that has not yet been replicated. It did so by following my way of doing things. Are you suggesting that the alley is a shadow of its former self? That is correct. The number of customers visiting the shops was ten times what it is today. The alley was alive and was credited as the best night market on the Lafu. Things were better in the old days. Of that, I am certain. So this is the historical one I that I sense a hole in his logic. The old Aramali achieved this a commercial one, right? miracle historical that has not yet volume. been replicated. It did so by... You've been looking at the past through rose-tinted glasses. In the golden era you described, the old Aram Alley had a trading volume similar to today. You included the delivery cycranes in your math. We did. So what? You can't draw simple parallels between then and now using absolute numbers. The trading volume you mentioned may not look impressive today, but it was huge relative to... Go on, I'm listening. I see what you are saying. While criticizing you for making flawed comparisons, I myself also made the mistake of believing that what worked in the past could be copied to serve the present. Mr. President, the way I see it, you shouldn't regard the alley as a souvenir from the past. Arum Alley should embrace change, as its residents do. <sighs> it seems we have reached an agreement. The hearing concludes here. First challenging an IPC rep, and now winning over the president of the guild? You're pretty good! Eh, I got lucky. The materials that ming -Si and Xia Han provided were super useful. Knowing the president, I think he's now ready to entrust you with the future of the alley. 
he wasn't really against us. The president commands the trust of many reputable shops in the alley. Their support for him was likely to be a big obstacle to your rejuvenation project. His invitation to debate this matter publicly was a chance for the more difficult business owners to hear from you directly. He is indeed very wise. I almost feel bad for him. Our Mali's enemy should be the IPC, not the president. What if the IPC isn't an enemy? You still remember Scott, right? He's been transferred elsewhere. I'll be handling things from now on. You're with the IPC? Xiao Han is the IPC's operation rep in Exalting Sanctum. You snake! You backstabbing little. My original plan only involved helping you overthrow the current president. But as we progressed, I saw there was more common ground than I'd anticipated. Since we all agree that the dock is vital to Aram Ali's development, why not take things further and turn the alley into a full-blown logistics hub? Imagine cargo ships from all corners of the galaxy, docking and departing. This place will be transformed into a renowned commercial port instead of another run-of-the-mill market. That is in progress. When the IPC wins the bidding, I'm sure we can continue to work together for a brand new Aram Alley. Hey, not so fast. It's still anyone's game. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. In that case, keep up the good work. I'll see you at the negotiation table. Always with the stick, uh, well... So, I see that we can continue arranging stuffs, right? Okay... 14 of these stuffs... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14 1, 2, 3, 4 Nice the Shipping Some time ago, I asked Su Shang to have a chat with Yin Sui to see if we could secure Spices Supreme as the next client for the dock. I've heard Su Shang has made some progress. She could use some extra hands. Would you mind helping her out? Leave it to me. Thanks so much. I would have helped her myself, but I've been drowning in paperwork in preparation for the bidding. Oh, Su Shang is waiting for you at Spices Supreme. Go find her when you have the time. Over here! Su Shang told me all about what you did to help the shops in the alley. Very impressive. Uh, I wish Spices Supreme would step up their game, though. It'd be a dream come true if I could order takeout from the Alchemy Commission. Hmm, why can't I order from the Express? That's definitely out of their delivery area. Oh. Chef Yen Sui used to be on the President's side. After she heard about ming plans, she decided to cooperate with the Dock. It's a good opportunity. Ah, there's finally hope for Spices Supreme Takeout! Not only that, putting Spices Supreme on the map would increase interest in the alley as a whole. To get us started, I've proposed a crossover between the Merchant Guild and Spices Supreme. Buy a meal box and get a Visiograph of Bailu. Hmm. I'll take that. that idea. If the elders find out, they'll say I'm tarnishing my image or something. Yen Sui has agreed to offer you free meals throughout the crossover. <laughs> Happy to help. A 
remember. Smile when you say the word. Cheese! Mung bean! But you didn't smile though. Yen Sui has just told me to go ahead with the partnership. Bailu can finally have her take out. <laughs> That's the only good news today. Let's get the planning started. Hmm. <sighs> if we want to start making takeout, we're gonna need more hands in the kitchen. Mingxi, how likely is it that the guild will win the bid? I'm trying to work out what the future holds for Spices Supreme. I can't say for certain, but with you on board, our chances have greatly increased. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, Dragon Lady, why don't you drop by the restaurant? I'll make you some smoked patty. Thanks. I'm starving. Okay, we got new goods. Mr. President, they've arrived. You'll forgive me for not shaking hands. No worries. I must admit I didn't expect much when Ming Shi first brought you to me. I thought you were just another group of strangers who meant well, but wouldn't make a difference. To my disbelief, not only did you manage the lease, but you stayed to convince others, including me, that our cause is one that is worth fighting for. Even now, it's hard for me to imagine how you are going to win the bidding. As slim a chance as we have, there is still hope. We got this, don't worry. Go, and may good tidings come with you when you return. It's getting late. Where to now? It never struck me that someone as humble and kind as Xiao Han would work together with the likes of Scott. Before I met Xiao Han, I always imagined everyone at the IPC would be like Scott. Overbearing and dodgy. Now I understand. The IPC has many faces. Palace of Astrum is up ahead. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. Before we place our bid, let's go over our key points again. Okay, so the guild's bidding deposit? This is the most tangible achievement of our alley revival project. It demonstrates that the alley still has plenty of life in it. Having enough funding to back up our bid is key to competing with the IPC. Wait, I just realized it's deposit. Deposit, okay. So, the Spices Supreme crossover event. Because of the crossover meal deals, the Alley has seen an uptick in customers. It goes to show that the Alley still lives up to its name, 
as one of the best food destinations. And last but not least, the Orum LA Business Opinion Poll. The president conducted a poll to gather the shop's opinions on the future of the alley. More and more shops have voiced their support for the guild and expressed their confidence in our revival project. I've looked over everything. Let's go. The bidding is about to begin. Okay. On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I am invited to host the public bidding of the Aram Alley Commercial District. With members of all parties present, the proceedings may begin. I hereby ask all parties to submit your support documents for evaluation. The documents should include scope of business, ratio of contributions, and registered capital. Representatives of all parties, please be ready to brief the review committee on your business plans. By personal request of the committee, a discussion session will be added to allow all participants to raise and answer questions. She's not making it easy for us. Indeed. Xiao Han is eloquent and knows exactly what he wants. Not to mention the funding he gets from the IPC. It will be an uphill battle. That said, this is also our chance to make a strong case for ourselves. Xiao Han, whenever you are ready, tell us about your plan for Aramali. Members of Aramali Merchant Guild, I hope you're all keeping well. And if we're not, Oh, spicy. No need to be quite so aggressive. <laughs> Members of Aram Alley Merchant Guild, by utilizing the dock, the guild managed to repay outstanding rents and also raised sufficient funding to stand at the bidding. That just goes to show how vital the dock is. We did much more than simply utilize the dock. But you don't deny that the dock was vital to your operations, correct? Your partnership with the shop owners and the increase in cargo handling capacity None of it would have been possible without the dock. Wrong. None of it would have been possible without winning the hearts of local businesses. Well said, Sushong. <laughs> I think you understand my point. By utilizing the dock, the IPC seeks to unleash the full potential of the dock, taking full advantage of its role as a logistics center, thus transforming Aram Alley into one of the most advanced commercial ports in the galaxy. How are inter-astral cargo ships supposed to dock? There isn't enough room. To address this, most of the shops will need to be relocated. The IPC will redesign the layout of the whole area to make sure ships can move in and out smoothly. We expect at least the same trading volume as Cloudford. Rest assured, all the shops that need relocating will receive generous compensation from the IPC. The package we've prepared will make everyone happy. Classic IPC. The IPC seeks to un- And that, honorable ladies and gentlemen, is the rejuvenation that everyone has been hoping for. How can you be sure that everyone's vision aligns with yours? I was using a figure of speech, but our vision of rejuvenation will benefit the majority. Shouldn't you gather people's opinions first? Do we have any proof? And that, honorable ladies and gentlemen, is the rejuvenation that everyone has been hoping for. The shops think otherwise. According to the poll we conducted earlier with business owners, most of them have already partnered with the Merchant Guild and wish to preserve their current business model. Artistry Hardware is among the shops that registered this answer. Father has never been the shrewdest when it comes to business matters. I'm afraid his opinions don't constitute the most valuable insights. In agreeing with your approach, those shops may risk missing the bigger picture and opportunities for future growth. You think too highly of yourself. <laughs> Ming Shi, please share with us what the Guild has in mind. 
As Xiao Han mentioned, the IPC sees the dock as the most valuable asset the alley has to offer. But for us, the local shops are what makes the alley special. The guild serves the sole purpose of helping local businesses. We will help the alley reclaim the title of the best night market on the La Fu. Best night market on the La Fu? With the IPC's funding pouring in, hundreds of commercial centers will sprout. Why would people come to Aram Alley when they have so many other options? Nobody cares about that title anymore. Say what you want, but we care. What makes you so determined to hold on to this idea of a food street? Why can't the revival of the alley take on other forms? I mean, do you want food or parcels? I think I will take food, you know? I want something to eat. Because people want it to retain its food street. Yes. We have proof of that. Yes. Do we have any proof? We do. Best in Alley when they have so many other options. When people think of Aram Alley, they think about its food. The two notions can't be separated. Yes. Good speech. We organized a crossover between the Merchant Guild and Spices Supreme. Woohoo! By sending out coupons and gifts, we attracted twice as many customers as we normally would. This shows that food is still a big reason why people visit the alley. The alley's identity as a food street is, is what makes it so competitive. <laughs> the revival you envision involves throwing pots of money into building a port while forcing away most local businesses. Wouldn't that erase the very identity of the alley? Our approach protects the people who made the alley what it is today. That concludes our discussion. We will inform all participants of the result when a decision has been made. Thank you all for coming. <sighs> well... Hey, that's me! Sorry, I was zoning out. I'd heard that Xiao Han had matured a lot since returning from his study abroad. It would appear the time he spent outside the Xianzhou really did make him a better person. We change as we live. You're right. It really got me thinking. Even though it seems like we're doing the right thing, will we still think so ten years from now? <sighs> Sorry, you don't have to listen to me daydreaming. I'll head back to the dock for now. That means we have more arrangements to do? Do you think the guild won the bed? Of course, we're the protagonist. That sure feels like it sometimes. Anyway, no point in standing around here worrying. I'm heading back to the alley. Talk to you soon. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Wow. 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 Ah, you're here. I'm the one who dragged you into all this. I must thank you again. Thank you for everything you've done for the guild and the alley. That's too kind of you. Yeah, all in a day's work. You two have done a lot to help us. You deserve every bit of praise. Now that I've finally got some free time, I'm starting to reflect on the choices I made and the reasons behind them. The President and Xiao Han had different perspectives because they came from different backgrounds. And I can't help but feel the decisions I made were somewhat restricted by my own background. The same can be said for all of us. If that's true, the only way to get a wider perspective is to leave my comfort zone and look outward. The answer to reviving Arum Alley isn't necessarily within the alley itself. And that's why I secured an internship opportunity at Pier Point with the help of Xiao Han. Once I wrap up here, I'll be on my way. 
It's always good to broaden one's mind. I plan to entrust the alley to you two. If you ever need any help, just ask the president. Okay. That's right. If you wish to continue with the inventory or logistics planning, come and find me. Oh. Didn't see you there. I hope I can come back with new insights. Bye for now. I'll see you when I get back. So we do have custom orders, right? That means... Ah, there you go. I have completed every single thing. Took a while, but yeah. <laughs> Gleam. There you go. Alright guys, um I believe this is the end of Oromelli and yeah maybe I need to do something else for now. Thank you so much for watching. This is Chimorfa and we shall meet again, Trailblazers. Until next time. See ya. <laughs> Noise.